Action News. Well, tire marks stretch across one of the Black Lives Matter murals in the Northland. It's a sight upsetting some people who reached out to us about this issue. So we decided to take it to police and the artists who designed the murals. 41 Action News reporter Ariel Rothfield has their response. I've often said if you want to know what happened, read a history book. If you want to know how it affected people, look at the artwork. For most of his life, Harold Smith has been doing exactly that, capturing emotions and telling stories through paint. One of the many reasons he designed this Black Lives Matter mural near Briarcliff. For all the bright colors, I think it captures the vibrancy and the energy and the power that is present in black lives. A vibrancy dulled by splattered white paint and tire marks, both of which were not part of the original design. This is one of six murals in Kansas City, painted just over a week ago. I'm absolutely disappointed that in an effort to call for the end of systemic racism, a, a, you know, a gesture towards that goal. Councilman Eric Bunch sponsored a resolution which paved the way for these murals. All of them are located on city streets. Some of them, including the murals on 18th and Vine and 10th and Baltimore, have tire marks on them, but not to the extent as Briarcliffs. It's a serious affront to our efforts to end racism to, to, to face a mural like that. And so um, it, it does mean more to me than just a regular Street. 41 Action News contacted Kansas City Police. A spokesperson said the city has now filed a police report which is needed to launch an investigation. If an investigation is launched, the department would work with the Clay County prosecutor to determine what, if any, criminal charges could apply. But until that happens, this will be treated as wear and tear. As for the artist behind the mural, do like what Bob Ross said, make it a happy accident. He prefers embracing the marks rather than painting over them as a way to add to the mural's message. Black culture and black arts has always taken black pain and the things that happened and used it to create more art. Reporting in Kansas City, Ariel Rothfield, 41 Action News.